Hey beauties, this is a super simple everyday look. This is the look that I wear pretty much every single time I go out. It's very neutral, very easy, a little bit of shimmer, but it's very easy for anyone to wear. I typically don't like to go very heavy on my liner if I wear liner at all, and usually I don't. So this is done completely with eyeshadows, and I wanted to make it look like I wasn't wearing too much makeup because I like to look fairly natural. Uh, it's very rare that I do a really deep smoky eye or something bright with tons of colors unless it's a really special occasion. So if you like this look and you want to see how I got it, feel free to watch the rest of this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and yeah, enjoy! I start out with a fresh, completely moisturized face. And the first thing I do is use my Carmex lip balm in vanilla to moisturize my lips. My favorite eyeshadow primer is Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Anti-Aging, and I tap this onto my lids and blend it out with my finger. I'm using my Visart palette in Neutral Matte, taking that top shade and blending it into my crease with a 217 brush from MAC. I'm grabbing a little bit of that darker brown and applying this to my crease to deepen up that color. I have hooded eyes, so I go a little bit above the fold of my actual crease to make it seem like my eyes are a lot bigger than they really are. I'm using a dry 224 to diffuse and blend the edge of that color. I'm using a MAC 226. It has a tapered point that allows me to apply darker colors deeper into my crease. You could use your original blending brush, but this tapered point makes it so much easier because it adds more precision to the process. I'm taking the same brush into the orange shade on my palette and applying that over my crease color. This adds more dimension to an otherwise completely neutral look. I always go back in with my 224 to blend out those colors. This is a MAC eyeshadow called Amber Lights. It's a burnt orange shimmery eyeshadow that I'm patting onto the center of my lid with a flat shadow brush. This time, I'm using my 217 to blend. It has remnants from the last crease color I used, so it makes it easier to blend amber lights into my crease. This is Murad's Invisibler Perfecting Shield. It has SPF 30, and I use this as a primer. After squeezing a pump into my fingertips, I rub my hands together and apply this to the pores on my face. My favorite foundation is Estee Lauder's Double Wear. My shade is 3C1 Dusk. I just take a little bit on the tip of my finger and dot it all over my face where I need coverage. I'm buffing this into my face with my Marc Jacobs Face 3 Buffing Foundation Brush. It's a super dense synthetic brush that gives me full coverage. I'm using the Naked by Urban Decay Skin Concealer in Fair Neutral. I'm applying this to the areas of my face that need a little brightening. You could use your fingertips or a brush, but the easiest way for me to blend out my concealer is with a damp beauty blender. I'm using Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and my 224 to set that concealer. I love to laugh. So I like to go over any areas of my face that I know will crease from laughing. I'm using this Smashbox Contour Cream Pencil to contour the areas of my face that I'd like to look slim. I'm blending that cream contour into my foundation with a Marc Jacobs Shape and Contour Blush Brush. I'm switching to a beauty blender to blend out the edges of my nose contour. This is Estee Lauder's Double Wear Powder Foundation. I am shade 2C3 and Fresco. I'm applying this all over my face with a Mary Kay fluffy powder brush. At this point I realize I forgot to blend out my lip contour, so I'm going back in to blend that out and finishing up powdering my face. This is Burberry's Earthy Blush in number 7, Light Glow. 
I'm using this with my Marc Jacobs contouring brush to really diffuse any patchy cream contour areas. With a Sonia Kashuk angled brush, I'm taking that same contouring powder and really contouring the edges of my nose. You can completely skip this powder contour portion if you absolutely nailed the cream contour. I'm using my 224 brush to blend out that powder. This is an Anastasia Brow Waste Pencil. I'm using the color Soft Brown to do my eyebrows. This is a tiny low Cornell paintbrush that I'm using to apply amber lights to the center of my lower lash line. I'm also applying a darker brown to the outer corner of my lower lash line. Almost done. I'm using the darkest shade of brown in my palette and using this as eyeliner all across the top of my lid. Using eyeshadow for liner is a foolproof way to really enhance your eyes. I'm also applying it just in the outer corner of my lower lash line. I'm using my Stila Sun Bronzing Powder, and I don't know what shade it is because I've used this so much that the back is worn off. And I'm applying it with a MAC 165 angled brush over my contour and across the apples of my cheeks, as well as any areas where the sun might hit my face. I also like to dust my bronzer over my collarbones to really even out the look. This is MAC's Powder Blush in Mocha. It's my favorite blush. I'm using it with a MAC 129 to apply it across the apples of my cheeks. I like to highlight with Hourglass's Ambient Light Palette. I'm taking a fan brush and rubbing it over all three colors, then applying this to the high points of my cheekbones, just across my brow bone and across the top of my brow bone. I'm applying all three colors with a 224 brush to the tip of my nose, as well as to the center of my eyes. I'm using a pencil brush by MAC to also apply this to the inner corners of my eyes. I'm also taking that same pencil brush and highlighting my cupid's bow. For lipstick, I'm using Etude House's Dear My Wish Lips Talk in BE101. I'm curling my lashes with a Shu Uemura eyelash curler and using Lancome's Definicils Mascara to really lengthen my lashes. To really thicken my lashes, I'm using Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara to really volumize my lashes. I'm setting all my makeup in place with Urban Decay's All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And that's it! If you love it, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, leave a comment with your thoughts, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook as Hey Sherry. I'll see you next Monday. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like Justin Bieber. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. 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 Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Whoa.